Hey, Joe here from Home Studio Corner talking about the PreSonus Studio Live 24. Specifically, how do we send effects to the singer's headphone mix? Let's say she wants reverb. How do we get that to her if she's using uh, one of the auxiliary outputs to feed her headphone amp? As you know, the left-hand side of the mixer has all of these buttons that allow you to have a ton of different sub-mixes. You could literally have eight different stereo headphone mixes if you wanted, that's insane. Also down below here, we've got the essentially the mixes for each of the four onboard effects on the mixer. So before we dive into it, I wanna talk about how to think about doing headphone mixes because a lot of people think you need to have a separate headphone mix for the musician than whatever you're hearing as the engineer. And while there are places and situations where that makes sense, I say nine times out of 10, it makes sense for both of you to just listen to the same thing. So if you're feeling that pressure to figure out how to do all the routing, maybe you don't need to. Maybe what I'm gonna show you today, the simplest and fastest solution is probably the best as well. So that's what I'm gonna show you and then we'll talk maybe at the end about how a couple of different ways to do it if you wanna get more fancy. But this is how I set it up 90% of the time. So let's say Whitney's over there. She's got her headphones, she's got a the PreSonus HP4 headphone amp, and that's being fed by a pair of outputs on the mixer that are fed from one of these um, mixes over here. So let's say I'm sending her, usually I'm sending her something like, uh, I think mix 15 and 16 or something like that. That's what I'm sending to her. Now, how do I get her to hear the same thing that I'm hearing so we can both hear the exact same mix, the exact same vocal level, and the exact same reverb level. It's really, really easy. Let me walk through it step by step with you. Step one, select what effect you want. Let's use reverb in this example. You start by picking effect A, and you come over here and you'll see that the uh, vintage plate reverb is what I've got pulled up. It's a fun little reverb, okay? You can mess with the settings on that or whatever, but right now you're not actually hearing it for a couple of reasons. The first reason is it's muted. Got these global mute buttons here for our effects. I like to leave them muted at all times so I don't accidentally send effects where I don't want them to go. So when I want a reverb, I'll smack that button and that opens up the reverb so I can hear it if something is routed to it. The problem is nothing is routed to it yet. As we can see, we've got effect A selected and none of my channels are being routed to it. Here's my vocal right now. If I turn that up, now we've got reverb. So we turn up that, we've got reverb going. I'm gonna mute that just for our sanity. Now we've got reverb that we can hear. We can adjust how much of the vocal is going to the reverb using this setup here, and then we can go back to our main mix to do our normal mix. Now, so far, all we've done is sent the vocal to the reverb, but we haven't actually sent anything to the singer yet. Let's do that. So Whitney's headphone amp is plugged into outputs, mix outputs 15 and 16. So I select either one of those I click the link button here to link them together as a stereo output. Then I come over here to adjust the settings. If we hit this little gear box, we can actually change the mode of this mix. Normal headphone mixes that you're probably used to in most studios use the aux version. That means when I select mix 15 and 16, I can move all of these faders to give her a custom mix exact levels of everything that she wants. But we already talked about how I'd rather just send her what I'm hearing. And the easiest way to do that is to come over here and instead of aux, select matrix. What this does is it gives us a few more options of what we can route to mix 15 and 16. If you come up here and you just kind of tab through all the different uh, banks here, when you get all the way to the left, which is a little surprising, sometimes you don't realize that, go all the way to the left and you'll see a a fader called main or M1. So what I do is I send that to the headphone mix. That's my main mix, that's what I'm listening to and now I'm sending that to this specific output. It's as simple as that. Now whatever I do on my mix here is also gonna get sent to her including adding in some reverb. It really is that simple, and that's the way I recommend you setting it up. If you wanna get fancy, you can do the same approach, but instead of using the matrix mode, use the aux mode, and then you're sending individual channels, including the reverb return channel, to her mix so that she can hear that. But you're gonna to have to bounce back and forth between your mix and her mix to make any changes, which is completely fine and doable. I've just found over the course of doing many, many sessions, it's just not worth the work. Especially if she's standing right there and she, I know she probably wants to hear a little more of something or she's in the middle of a take and she asks for more reverb with her thumb. If I hit this button, 
the faders all move. And if it's a bunch of faders moving, it makes that sound, which means it's going to get picked up by the microphone, which is another reason why I don't want to be switching back and forth between things. If I'm sitting here and I'm listening to her mix and she's listening to my mix, we're listening to the same mix, she wants some more reverb, I can just push that reverb fader up. I can even route the reverb return on my user bank so that it shows up right here and I can just move that up and down without having to move between banks. Again, it's a lot of personal preference with any digital system. You usually have about 17,000 ways to do something. This is the one way that I think works best and keeps things nice and simple. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Joe from Home Studio Corner. See you in the next one.